there's guys out there that are like been buckets. The one person that's crazy to me is Pat Bev. Did y'all know Pat Bev averaged like 40? That that is crazy high to think about. Like he was an offensive player in high school. Fights. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the very first episode of Podcast P, your new favorite hoops and culture show that you didn't know you needed. We are presented to you by Wave Sports and Entertainment, and I'm your host, Paul George, here with my co-host and my guys. Please introduce yourselves. I'm Dallas Rutherford, a.k.a. The White Stallion down at Venice Beach, Church League legend, grew up playing basketball in Los Angeles, and I'm happy to be here. Happy to be here. And I'm Jackie Long, and I never do Do you wrong. wrong. I'm not going to do nothing but tell you what's right and never tell you what's wrong. You dig? Bars. What it is. You heard the bars real quickie, quickie. But hold on, y'all. This is our first show, right? Right? Okay. It's like when you come to somebody's house, you always got to bring he, something. You got to bring something. Come on. Housewarming Jackie gift. Jackie was a step ahead of me. Housewarming come gift. Come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Listen, that's for you. Okay. Thank you. That's thank you. you. Okay. Okay. No, just okay. I like you. You come with gifts. Yeah, come yeah, on. Very cool. It's my gift hey, to y'all thank you. Because it's our first show and you got to bring that. something. Appreciate that. Throw your and trash you away when you leave. Hey. You know, appreciate that. Guys, before you throw your, you guys. Before you throw your trash you, away when you leave. You. We here. We here. Where we at with it? Yeah. Let's uh, talk a little bit about the origin of the podcast and how it kind of all came together. Talk to us a little bit about, you know, how the whole podcast kind of got started and Um, what made you kind of want to do the podcast? Originally, it was just like, not necessarily something that everybody was doing, but I just feel like my story is, is not being told and people have this perception of who I am. And, you know, it's a way for me to give back to fans and people that don't know who I am, give them an insight of who I am. You know what I mean? And so it just became intriguing at this point in my career. And y'all, my boys, man, I thought it'd have been fun, you know, to share this space with y'all and and open this thing up, man. But we do want to talk a little bit about, you know, the name. The name is a good name, okay? Good name. And I think it's important that you are able to kind of make fun of yourself. I know Jackie can make fun of himself. I can make fun of myself. We're, we, we got a little humor bone in us, but Podcast P, Playoff P goes hand in hand. What was it like, you know, from my standpoint, the whole playoff P thing? I don't know if you regret that at all. It was tough watching it from a friend's perspective, uh, just because I know you as Paul, not playoff P or even PG-13. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I forget that. And I would go on social media and try to start little Instagram wars for you on your behalf, just mm-hmm. kind of sticking up for you. But would love to just kind of get some insight on that whole Twitter world playoff P and uh, what was kind of going on during that time in your life? To be honest, I don't know. I don't know what was going through me at that moment when, you know what I mean? I, I was getting it. I was getting interviewed and I don't know what went through my my mind at that moment to be like, all right, it's it's playoff P time. Like, are we about to turn it up? I think it was the whole like, you know, when Brian goes zero dark 23, that was my version of like playoff P. Like, we about to, you know what I mean, change it up. And then it just, it took a life of its own. I guess people <laughs> people expect it to be like MJ-esque. You expect, they expect they expected me to be MJ every, ga- every, every game. Season. MJ, he's supposed to be MJ. Like that was the bar that I was so supposed to be set. do you like being called playoff P when the playoffs come? Yeah, I, I, I like it. I like it. Okay. I like it. I mean, it's it's nothing wrong with me. It's, it's an ex- expectation I have for myself as well. Like yeah. I know it's a separation right. between regular season and, and playoffs, like the version you get of PG in regular season, is supposed to be different than the, would, the playoff version love of PG. I hear playoff P every year because that's that's where you know I'm heading. I'm in the playoffs. That's right when, you, yeah. If you don't hear playoff P, I'm I'm on vacation. I'm vacation P. We gotta get finals P. <laughs> it do need to be a we finals a final P. P. We gotta now. unlock that. That's the last. That's the, we gotta that's the last boss. Come on. <laughs> that's the last boss. We gotta unlock that's finals coming. P. I'm going to make sure that comes. Just for God. you. We get to the finals. So I'm, I'm bringing finals P. Have final P. It's coming. It got to happen at the new one. We don't care about now. That man. name went at so many arena, different we ways, though. It, From way off P. It's, man, it's the, the social media world. COVID P. It's brutal. Pandemic, Pandemic P. Trust P. me, I got a few more for you. They're, they're all over the place. And it's just ridiculous how media and social media, and again, these people don't know you as a person. And that's why I think the podcast is so 
important because you'll realize that all these NBA superstars that you guys like to follow, they're just normal people and there's yeah. nothing wrong with having fun. Playoff P's a great, great name. So yeah, that's a good, good little backstory well, now, on it. Forget Playoff P. We talking about podcast P right now, baby. That's what we talking about. It's Tell a new, a new birth. Come on. Oh, new we, birth. We podcast P It is right where we now. get to talk our shit. You know what I mean? Have a little fun. You know what I mean? It, this, this, this is what this podcast is for, this man. Talk our shit. Any episode, always have on shoes and socks. <laughs> no, for you, no, Just only you. We get we. Cool. Next episode, I'm I'm having my Jesus slippers on. But I might bring my Crocs out next. I, do I, it. I, I, now that that's that appropriate, out. and I know the standards. I like this is know. locker. He in the locker room all day, every day. Okay, <laughs> that's what I'm. Those say. toes need to be aired out. Trust me. All right, Jackie. We got the new podcast. Everyone brings on guests. Who are some guests that you'd like to see on the show? We got to have Russell Westbrook. I want to see Russ just because all the controversy he's been having going on from one L.A. team to another one. Got to have him. Got to. Uh, who else? Who else I would want to see? I put I put Kawhi on there. Yeah, we. I put, put Clay on there. Put Clay for sure. See, for me, I think it's just people that, like, are misunderstood or people that, like, the world don't really know about. You know yeah. what I mean? People definitely want to know about Kawhi. They want to sure. know about they Kawhi. Wanna know Kawhi. I want to sure. know about Kawhi. You and, know, right. <laughs> I want to know. Like, is it like I? I gotta ask him. It's so funny because a lot of like, even when I'm out, a lot of people ask me like, "So how's Kawhi?" Like, <laughs> they like as if he's just not a normal person, not human or something. I want to have Shaq on here. Shaq would, Shaq be, dope. would be fun. We definitely need Shaq a bigger sofa, Shaq but we can we can make that happen. Go, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> you don't. You don't. Y'all trying to get a podcast? Gotta get a podcast. <laughs> it's like it's gonna be funny. We yeah. got him. We got Kevin get. Hart. Yeah, we have a lot of yeah, energy. We I, have some, uh, inter, some like entertainment and you know some good stuff, man. So the first thing that we got to talk about again, we are just filming this a few days after uh, NBA All Star Weekend. I know Paul; it was his eighth selection as an NBA All Star. So congratulations! <laughs> now I, I I I gotta I gotta keep it real. You know, I know you didn't play uh, too hot, but to be fair, uh, it didn't look like uh, <clears throat> anyone was really trying. And it was, how was that experience like? And, and even from a viewership standpoint, like we're obviously not playing. Me and Jackie are just sitting at home watching mm -hmm. it. But I'm curious on the in game aspect, if you felt like it was any different this year, could you feel that it wasn't as competitive as prior years? What was the vibe like actually in the, in yeah, the, yeah, it, it wasn't, it wasn't competitive. Like it was, it felt the same as like any other all star game in terms of like the lead up into it. It it just was super friendly, like, and I think because like they did a whole like you know pick sides or pick your players before the game, yeah. So it was like to start out, it was the whole West in the locker room, and then the whole East in their locker room, right? <laughs> yeah. So like we're all amongst each other at first, and then you get picked, and then now we're separated. So like some of the West people are in the East locker room, and some of the That's East weird. people are in the West locker room. So it it kind of takes the competitiveness out of it. Like, you know what I mean? I thought it is. So it was it was it was a little different. It was a little weird. And then uh you just like I think you just don't know when to turn that switch. Like cause first quarter you have fun. It's for the fans. Like you're easing your way into it. Right. Second quarter is supposed to get like a little bit more competitive. You still gonna see some lobs and you still gonna see like different lineups like having fun. They're they're having their moments. But then by like second half, third quarter, you're like, all right, you know, and then the way the format is now, like you got to win the corners for charity. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's and so third quarter is when you, you're you're like that sweat is starting to kick in. You know what I mean? And then fourth quarter, you get to a point. Only one charity wins or two? It's two charities. So, like so one quarter. side, in this oh. case, Team LeBron had a charity with, that we were playing for. And then Team Giannis had a charity that the they were playing won't for. get nothing even if the other team wins? <laughs> no, nah, you, you, they, they get something, but. It's obviously a team that wins less a hundred thousand a quarter, a hundred thousand a quarter. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm not a fan of the quarter Ooh. thing. It's it's, and I think I even heard. But you. but that's 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 the way of like they only go that's their way of they're trying to make it competitive. Like so, if you win the quarter, you win money for that charity. Yeah, but not that in competitiveness. Obviously, I'm sure everyone in the All Star Game does charity type stuff, but. That's never that wasn't like that in the past. And in my personal opinion, what that they weren't playing by each quarter. It was no, it wasn't. It was it was whoever had the most the points end. at the end of the yeah. game wins the game. And yeah. I think if they got rid of that, if you were out there and you guys were down thirty points in the first quarter, 
you'd be embarrassed. Yeah. And I think that's when kind of your pride kicks in, at least for me as but a to be honest, But to be honest, like you don't have a chance to go down 30 because one side's letting one side score, yeah, the, the other side's letting the other side score. Three from yeah, that. so like they're like, to be honest, there's like, you won't have an imbalance in the score because yeah. they're, you're both letting each other score. Yeah, it And was, it's funny, like the last, like, so we were like, like maybe it was like 42 to 42 or 40 at the – the first quarter, the last couple seconds, I hear like somebody like, get a stop. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? what? Someone slapping them, the floor. Well, it's because we're trying defense? to win the quarter. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But we've been letting them score. All year. They're like, get a stop. Get a stop. <laughs> yeah, but it'd be tough to turn on that switch. It's it's tough because you don't know at like what you, you don't want to be that guy that's just like Tatum locking up everybody. Tatum like, not the, though. Tatum didn't follow the rules. And you got to. I think I think <laughs> somebody's got to get to that point where it's like you know what I'm gonna go against the grain. Yeah, and then I'm another here to, I'm here to play defense, it, and then another person's gonna get it. Yeah. Then it's gonna be like that's all right, what I wanted it to get to. That's, to. To be honest, like whether you look good or you look bad within it, it's like all right, Did you're you you're one of the top 24s in the in the the yeah. league. Like, so it's, it can't do you no harm. Like, let's. You get mad when they play one on one? Like, how Tatum. Within the game? No, that's, that's, oh, that's like, that's, 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 that's part the, of that's it. Part, that was the only fun part. And they were still yeah. going like half speed. They were. And that, know, yeah. Speed. And that happens like, that's, that's been a historic thing. Like, you've right, seen right, times right. where Shaq and Dwight is matched up and they're going one on one, or Kobe, Kobe and LeBron, LeBron matched up fun. and they're going. Like, that, that's part of like the pickup. That you, you know what I mean? That you want to see in basketball at an all-star game. You want to see that back and forth because you know, all right, he's not trying to get scored on and then this guy's going to get in his bag. You know what I mean? So it, you get a, a bit of both. Yeah. It was the lowest viewership that they've had in the history of the Two NBA point. all-star game. I mean, uh, I think they had around 4.5 million viewers and to kind of put it in to oh, context, wow. I think the Pro Bowl had more viewers than we the lost NBA to the Pro Bowl. It's down bad, bro. It's 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 the it, Pro Bowl it, was two hand touch. P, I'm telling you, they bro. They played it, flag football. We so, lost to Pro Bowl. It was so boring. That's crazy. It was so hey, boring. For real, the the flag. The, uh, That's uh, according to the NFL? stat. You know, don't quote me on this, but yeah, I did a little bit of research. You know, want to get prepped for the that's, show. That's a that's wow. a hell of a stat. Yeah, I didn't know that. It's down bad, not but liking the All Star. I don't blame them though. Like I, I wouldn't. Is if I'm a kid, I, I wouldn't. Even as a kid, I don't think I would have want to watch that. Like I used to look forward to watching the All Star game. So what is fun. It that you don't like now from watching it and being in it. Like from it's just from like it's it's not com- it's not competitive. It's not competitive. Like I don't I don't want to watch guys just throw lobs and yeah. like I think the I think the entertainment part of it is having the Steph Curry's, the Damian Lillard's, the Donovan Mitchell's like them being able to shoot from that distance and you get to see that up close, I think it's entertainment right, right there. Right, right, right. Yeah. But like that should be it. Everything else, like should you want to see the guys like get after it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the first quarter is like let them like let us ease Kyrie into it. He wasn't playing around. Kyrie, he like I give, I give, I give up. Kai credit. Kai was going. I give Kai credit. <laughs> he was Kai was the one guy that was <laughs> like, all right. Like, like let's let's every- let's compete. Let's <laughs> compete. Kai has that that just competitiveness in him that he just don't want to lose. And I was I was seeing it, and I was like, shit, I sh- I, we need to match that. Like he won, but man. it was already like it was already going south in terms of like everybody just letting each other score and like no resistance. Kai was the one guy that was like trying to get after it on him defense. And Tatum. And uh, uh, the other one. Uh, yeah, the, the Jalen Brown. Yeah, they, they, Brown. They, 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 yeah. Were, they were going back and forth. I think the competitiveness aspect of it, you can't really, like, fix it. Like, I feel like that competitive spirit is just in you or it's not. And it's tough when it's so media-driven and entertainment-driven. It's kind of. Uh, let's, we, we, I wouldn't say that. It's in us because when you, when we're, when we're competing for our team, like, we got it. So it's not, it's not that. I just, I just, for whatever it is, we look at it as like, this is a, not necessarily a meaningless game because obviously we're doing it for charity and and we're doing it for the fans that voted us in. But in the same, like, it it is a meaningless game. Like, you know what I mean? So look, with all that said, P, I love it. But how do you feel? Should the All-Star go back to what? The regular old school way? East and West? Or what they should give out more money to the players, or or something. Nah, you, think? I, you know what? I think I think it's cool that you blend, like you can blend east and west. Like I think that's a cool part about it because, like, you get to see Braun 
And, you know, when he was with Cleveland and you get to see Steph on the same team, like it's just different lineups that you get to see. And for guys like they battle against each other and then, all right, now we get to be on the same side. Like, so I think that part of it is cool. Honestly, I think it just takes like it takes one person to like really bring it and and be like, you know what? Like, I'm we not doing that this all star game. You know what I mean? Like if Braun come out and say like, yo, we getting after it. We taking it serious. That's that's man. why I love what like and Giannis only played a minute. He did. Giannis is gonna bring it. You know what I mean? And and it's always gonna be competitive. Like when CP was in it, CP is gonna be competitive. Right. You know what I mean? Like the the that era of guys are are like we're transitioning into the new era of guys. And so it all it takes is just like that new era guy to be like get everybody mm-hmm. together, P. And that's, tell them. I mean, uh, that's that's hey, hey that's that's how I'm a, year, that's how I'm a, that's if I'm if I'm selected, that's how I'm looking at it next year. Tell them, P. Tell them. Like we going like let's let's have some fun. Like in in the grand scheme of things, like of course we don't want to get hurt. We don't. Of you know course. what I mean? But like let's let's make it a just little bit them, more competitive. Them, just, Even if it's like, them. all right, I'm yeah. gonna sit on your first move. If you beat me on that one, listen, I might let you go by me if they get to come on podcast, P. They can talk it on podcast. They P. can come on podcast, P. Man, talking on that. that that's, Tell them if they play hard enough, they come they here up. and sit on the couch <laughs> with us. That's an come incentive on. for your ass. Yes. Did y'all know Pat Bev averaged like forty? That that is in crazy high school. to think about. Like he was an offensive player in high 40 school. Forty fights. What you mean? <laughs> yeah, forty. What? He it, averaged forty. I love Pat, but Pat ready to fight everybody. How they let him? He must have punked everybody. Yeah, dog. That, that, they were probably afraid of him. Forty them. points, man. dog. When he told me that, I was like, dog, What's shut up. He went to? I don't know. Oh, I wonder if he played defense the same though in high school too. Where he? Do you from? think he was that? Just I like, don't. I I think he said. I think he said they like pressed in high school. So he, he was. Chicago? Yeah, he's from Chicago. Also, that, also that he's home right now. Yeah, he back he to he back for. at the crib. He never played for Chicago, right? Because I know he didn't remember nah, a lot. Nah, his first, his first, first stint. First stint. I can see him on the, He's a bull. That blew my mind. He's though. a bull. He's a bull. He's a bull. He Young, deserved to be a bull. He's an old bull now. I think it's a good a good place for him to be. And I think the other teams, like the Warriors there, well, they have some guards. Like, yeah. Well, yeah he'll, he'll get some time. He's passionate about it. Like when you hear him speak, he's, he's very passionate about it too. So I, I think he's going to definitely go hard. So yeah. I wonder what he likes more, defense or offense? Defense. He, now, now, like talking to him, like defense. now, like – See, Pat's a guy that like, all right, whatever I got to do is what I'm going to do. So he transitioned his game to play defense now. But so he do the fact the that he averaged, that he averaged more than I did in high school. That's crazy, forty points. And then I and then I saw I saw a YouTube clip of him overseas, and dog, he was like windmilling and like Bouncing. catching lobs and like a bucket. Speaking of overseas, did y'all see the White Howard? What he had the other day? Oh, he was. He had a he's whole shooting bunch threes of and yeah, he step bags. I got a little confused. He's ice it. on Living I his saw, best life out there. I'm sure. I saw him. I saw him be the the ball handler in the pick and roll. Whoa, whoa! Like somebody setting a screen on the him. White house. <laughs> yeah. The White House. Shout out Dwight, man. Dwight going like crazy Dwight. overseas. Shout he wilting overseas. Never seen <laughs> yeah, can like you just this. imagine like what, what like, like that, right, that, like that would be interesting to just watch. The fans are probably loving it, but That's All-Star crazy. Weekend, it's uh, obviously over right now and we're going into the second part of the season. This is when everyone kind of picks it up. I can always tell people actually start to play defense. So right now, the MVP front runner is Nikola Jokic and he's having a fantastic season. What are your thoughts on just kind of the MVP race right now? Like what Tatum is doing is impressive. Young guy went to the finals last year. Like he could have very well like been satisfied with that. He's got better though. Like his game has gotten better and he's confident with who he is as a player in this league now. Mm-hmm. And it's showing like Agreed. 40 balls, 50 balls. Like Agreed. he's going crazy. Yeah. So and, and what what is Boston? First in the East? Yep. You got to give it to to Tatum. Like what he's doing is 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 incredible. Like that team, people didn't think that team was going to get back to where they're at. Yeah, they didn't think they were going to do be that successful last year, and 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 what they're doing now. Like Tatum, Tatum is my favorite in, in the MVP yeah, race. He's so young. He's so Bro, young. He's young. Dude, 26? I think he's like twenty four. Maybe twenty four. Whole future ahead of him, boy. I love seeing it though. Like like you know, like seeing young shoes. wings. His shoes is tough. Shoes I got to get a pair of those. Shoes. Shoes is dope. Tatum. Young young fella. Hey, it's crazy. I'm wearing they shoes now. I need a pair. Ain't that something? I need a pair. Old head need a pair, man. 
All right, so we got to talk about LeBron. LeBron just surpassed Kareem for the all-time leading scorer in the NBA, and what an accomplishment! Um, he's he's. I don't think we'll ever see a LeBron, but what what are your thoughts on LeBron and just everything that he's been able to accomplish for the league and what what he's done for the league as a whole? What he's done for the league is is crazy. Like the number thirty eight thousand. And, and counting like that's a lot of buckets for a guy like and he's what top five assists top five like re, like what is what he's doing is like unbelievable like those stats and and it's it's like okay like Luke you you look at what Luke is doing right Luca being the young mm-hmm. version of LeBron in terms of passing scoring rebounding from a numbers standpoint like Luca could probably catch Bron but the longevity is what I don't think people will get to like 20 years of being dominant he's Came still averaging too. from high school no he's crazy still injuries averaging, like yeah, it's, right. it's it's incredible how right. he's been able to take I don't care think, of his body I don't think nobody will be cut that way to take care of your body to be that on point in the media to be that on point on the court like it's a yeah, like he's a superhuman. He's first, a, what, the first billionaire on the court. He's wow. a superhuman. He that too. He's a superhuman. So shout out, Bron, man. Shout. shout Is he the Bron goat? James. I don't like this discussion because obviously, if MJ was playing and MJ was was like MJ so competitive, like All right, I'm gonna go as long as Bron goes. Like <laughs> right. if if MJ knew what was to come after him, mm-hmm. I think he would have. I think yeah, absolutely. MJ took. You know what I mean? Took years off, came back. Took years off. Like if MJ knew that there was this LeBron specimen coming, <laughs> <laughs> like he he definitely would have been like, "All right, I ain't taking no years off. Like we gonna we gonna keep elevating this." So it's hard to give that debate on like the goat. And I hate that people compare the two. Yeah, he's the goat of of I think this generation. You got to give him that with what he's doing and what he's done. But all time, like, it's just, like, I don't ever want to, like, just say one is over the other because, to be honest, like, MJ wasn't asked to do what LeBron Mm -hmm. is asked to do. Different game. Different game, different styles, different position. LeBron's not asked to do what Jordan does. You know what I mean? So it's hard to debate the two and and say who is the GOAT. What actually makes you a GOAT is what I really want to know. What is that? that, that, People don't define that. People don't define that. They want to do stats. They want to, but it's deeper than stats to me. you would say championship. There's so many things. There's so many variables. Like what is actually a GOAT? Right. Because you think (laughs) championships, you think like, you think Bill Russell. Real talk. You know what I mean? He got what, 11, right? He got 11. It's like, so it's like, what is the GOAT? Like, Clarify all what's... your other accolades that you do in it and how good you do, but you got to open a school, right. you got to <laughs> produce movies, you got to be a billionaire in the NBA, right. you got to have put all your your friends on. Thank you, people, putting this on. Um, you got to do <laughs> a lot of, a lot of things, I guess, to be the, the GOAT. Yeah. That... He's one of the GOATs, absolutely. Because his down. shoes don't sell like the GOAT. Not yet. Yeah, his but shoes I'm saying, are... Like, they not selling like Jordan's. Yeah. His, yeah. No. His, his, his is iconic. Jordan's is iconic. Jordan is the reason why, like, we have shoes. Shoes, That's like, we I'm have saying. signature shoes. Got some on right now. <laughs> <laughs> what is the goat? Jackie, Jackie, I got a, I got a good LeBron story. I asked Paul if he remembered this, and he kind of remembers flashes of it, but I'll never forget it. And I think it's a good LeBron story with P. But this was probably like his second year in the league or third year in the league, and he got invited to go do the USA training camp for the guys that were about to go uh, play for us. Uh-huh. And so they're just there to practice. But Drew was there and Paul was there. So I'm like, dude, I'm going to Vegas. We're 21, 22. You already know what's going down at that time in our lives. Don't worry, Mary Rose and Daniela. This was a long time ago. Long, long time ago. This is pre. uh, (laughs) This pre. Just put (laughs) pre in front of it all. But uh, I remember we were like, hey, we're going to go hit a club tonight. And I'm like, cool. Like, does Drew want to go? So Drew's like, yeah, like, let's go. I'll split the bottle. Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday. So I went to high school with Drew and played with him. So I go up to Drew's room. I'm all ready to go. I'm like, dude, let's go. And he's like, man, I don't feel like I'm going out. But here's a little bit of money. And I'm like. Bro, like he's like, give it to Paul. So I'm like, okay, okay. I might have put a hundred bucks in my pocket. <laughs> but I came to Paul and I'm like, hey, 
Drew's not coming anymore. It's just us. And I think it was just me, you, and Aaron. Mm -hmm. And we get in the club. I'm hyped. It's Kevin Hart's birthday. You know what I mean? I'm out with P. Like, it's, it's, good talk night. about, it's a good night. Talk about this. It's going to be a great night. <laughs> and uh, it's like 45 minutes into it. We've had a few drinks. And this dude goes, Hey, I'm out. I'm like, Bro, like, I'm just getting warmed up. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? And he goes, Dude, I got to guard LeBron James tomorrow. And I'm like, <laughs> Okay. And it just kind of put it in perspective. I'm like, I get it. I get it. Paul told me to stay a little bit and took care of me for the night. So I ended up having a good night too with me and a little buddy that I had there, but a good LeBron story that I remember. It's yeah. just crazy. And and that's I a long stick. time ago, that's bro. A long like, time ago. He's still dominating it's, from that time to now. It's been I a decade. I still got to get that same sleep when we play LeBron. <laughs> like that's how crazy it is. He, he was on your team this year though, on the All-Stars. So he was, was, yeah. He, 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 he picked your boy. He I like how he did the intro for him too. He did. What do you say? Family, 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 uh, <laughs> family We got to, you know, PG. PG, PG yeah, 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 yeah. You got too many names, P. I do. PG Come on. 13. I God. like Nicola. He didn't even give him the opportunity to pick the other guy. The he guy just, just got up. Now, what like, he said, he said he was like, he felt bad about it. He was like, fuck, like, I didn't mean to, like, make him just last. make him last. He was like, I thought I was the only one up there. I think Giannis was trying to, like, outsmart the system because – Bron took Joel early, so he knew, like, all right, I'm going to have the center last. Like, Bron's not going to pick two centers. So let me pick all the other players, and then I'll right, pick right, right. Jokic last. Yeah. He was trying to he was trying to outsmart Drew the system. I was so happy that Drew got selected. I think Drew Holiday is one of the best. He was an all-star? He was an all-star. He should have been an all-star oh, many, many times. Years. But he was one of the first all-stars that was ever traded after his first oh, all-star yeah. appearance in Philly. Yeah. He got traded that next year. So yeah. it's been a while and he's accepted his role, but Drew can hoop. Yeah. No, he, he's nice. He's one of like probably the toughest person for me to match up against because Drew, he's like problem, strong bro. as an ox. He plays, he, him, it doesn't. He, it's, that's, that's the advantage he has. Like he's good at getting under you and like he's physical. He's strong. His feet are quick. His hands are fast. And it's like he knows, like he's so smart. It's like he knows your move. Like he's on it. He's a great defense. He's good. He's good. I saw him give Kawhi problems, and I was like, damn. Yeah. There's, there's nobody I've seen like give Kawhi a problem. So he got that defense because he's strong, and he got some good offense. He's moves. he just got like he just knows. He plays very good position uh, defense. Like he I he like knows you. the angles. Like he's he's tough. So we just got done with All-Star Weekend, and Paul, I know you got a fantastic Kobe Bryant story. I know you have a painting in your house, and I remember asking you, like, dude, what, what is this? And you told me the story. I know you're a big Kobe fan, mm -hmm. but just talk about that moment, being able to play in an All-Star game mm -hmm. with Kobe being Bryant. What was that like, and what happened? It was, bro, it was the dopest, the dopest shit ever, because it was, this was Kobe's last All-Star game. Yeah. And to be a part of that was like, for me being a Kobe fan, it was like, it's this is a, a hell of a send off. You know what I mean? To play in the last All Star game that he's going to be a part of, to be an All Star, like to share this with him, be a part of like the festivities, like everything about that All Star weekend was just surreal to me. Right in my head, it's like, all right, like this is an opportunity to like fucking go go get it. You know what I mean? Be the the, the scoring leader. Right, you were going off that game. I and I was getting busy, bro. I was getting busy this game. Crazy. I didn't initially start it off to where like, all right, like. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. But as the game is going, I start making shots. And then now I'm in rhythm and I'm like, it's time, right? So I remember, I remember like I probably had like maybe eight to ten points. I got subbed out. And so now this is the time. And I think I was a, I was a starter. I was a starter uh, this All-Star weekend, too, which was another reason why it was just dope. I was an All-Star starter, got voted in. And so this is now my second stint to go back into the game. And me and Kobe meet at the scores table. Oh. And I'm like, I'm geeking. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we're both at the scoring table. The yeah. game's going on. Like, in my mind, I was like, damn, like, like they could play all day. Like, like I, fuck, I, I, we can chill day. right here, me and you. He taking pictures of me. Yeah. And so I'm talking to him, and I'm like, Cole, I think I'm going for it. And we laughed about it, and he's like, yeah, that's how it starts. <laughs> you make the first couple baskets, you know it's your night. And he's like, go get it. Go for it. So I'm like, 
bet. <laughs> <laughs> so we go back into the game, and I'm I'm like, any chance I get the ball, bro, it's going up, and I'm hitting. I got like, you know, it was climbing twenty something, thirty something, forty one. Now I'm getting double teamed. Like, I remember Russ and KD start double teaming. They were hating, bro. Hating. I'm like, bro, they're playing. De- they were really playing defense. They were really playing defense, like, yeah, bro. Dude, like, let, and, let, let, him, and, let my guy have his shine. And I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't gonna fight it. Like at, at this point, it's like, all right, I'm trying to, I'm trying to win more than be the scoring right, MVP right. of the game. Like I'm trying to win this shit. We, we, we going, we doing this. Let's go win it. But the story, like that whole story of like getting that that moment to meet Kobe half court, share that moment. And for, you know, obviously the the passing of him, like it just always is a special bonding moment that I had with him. You know what I mean? Because he was the reason, like, all right, Kobe, like that's that's how Kobe looks at this. Like, all right, I'm about to try to go get the scoring record then. Like, I'm feeling like, good. I'm like I got his <laughs> blessing on it. Like, let's go get it. And uh yeah, it was it's it's cool telling that story just because of the backstory. Right, it. right. It was a couple guys that like even like when I played T Mac, when I played T Mac, because those the, like those two are my all time favorites growing up. T Mac though. And then when I so when I played against T Mac, it was like almost like uh, in awe. Like I, I was guarding him and I didn't even want to rip him because it was just like <laughs> I don't want to make him look bad. Like <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, I, I swear Stop. you was I, really young. I man. swear it was my rookie year. He was oh, he was yeah. in Atlanta. You had to be. I swear we was in Atlanta and I'm guarding him and he was like playing the point and I'm like checking him and and I'm like I really don't want to pressure him. him. <laughs> just just yeah, it was just like turn a little yeah, bit. it was like, just token uh, defense. Hey. <laughs> like yeah, like I hope I get some pictures of this to post <laughs> to post these. Like I I seriously was like I do not want to rip him. I don't want to like I'm just I was just in awe. Same shit with Cole. I was just in awe until he elbowed me, and I'm like, all right, fuck you. Like let's go. Yeah, I remember when I think I remember that that elbow, and it was like, yeah, did he elbow you in your? No, nah, he elbowed me like in my I, ribs. I think I remember. I think I was at that game, and I'm like, oh, yeah, man. he elbowed okay, me in my now, ribs. Now it's like he's, huh? he's not. I felt it for sure because I was I was way lighter then. Like so, it was it was bones what he was hitting in. Ooh. Now I got a little cushion there. Trace McGarry ain't never did nothing to you. Nah, he ain't because he was he was like he he had a lot of injuries at this point, so he was kind of like on his way out. Wow, you got to play with T Mac. <laughs> That's dope too. It was. Yeah, I didn't know I played Kobe. against. Like I played against, I played against a lot of. Only one you can get to play against oh, is geez. Michael Jordan now. Yeah, I'm, damn, I ain't that old. <laughs> I know, but I'm just saying you're the only one that didn't get to. That's the only one. Oh yeah. man, well, we've all played a lot of basketball growing up. Um, who are some of guys like you? Always see these guys that don't make it to the NBA, but they just had a ton of talent. Is there anybody that you can think of that you remember playing against? Where like. This guy was a problem, but he never really panned out to the league because a lot of things do got to go right. Mm. Um, guys get in trouble, uh, things things like that nature. But do you know anybody or remember anybody where you were like, that guy's good? My brother-in-law was tough. Like a lot of my game, like being my size and being able to handle and – my brother-in-law, my Jason. Jay. Well, I'm saying they both. I didn't. Uh, Jason. Uh, Jason. Yeah. Okay, my brother-in-law, Jason. Jason, is, Jason Chambers. Is nice. Yeah. A lot of my game, a lot of like my my influence, like a lot of like how I play comes from watching him. Wow, Jason do got game. Because like, and, and he would like when I was a kid watching him, like I would go like to That's Palmdale's dope. games. My sister played at Palmdale, so I would watch him. You know what I mean? You know the varsity girls play after or before the varsity boys so after my sister games like i would sit and watch his games and like he was doing crazy shit like fast breaks doing the ai and then boom dunk it right after like he was doing crazy stuff come half court pull up (laughs) jason was nice he still is nice no he still is nice even like damn near 40 like still bro this guy i was at this guy's house for a little barbecue i do train with him oh you do yeah yeah yeah. okay yeah yeah do you remember him crossing me up at the barbecue outside and then dunked it for game point on the little rim and i was like oh my gosh yeah like like, like, bro (laughs) relax like everyone was watching it was a little embarrassing no his he probably is somebody like he inspired me to be like I got to get out of here. Like, I got to, like. Shout out to Jason. Shout Taylor. out to Jason, bro. He was, like, I like the person that it was, Great like, damn. Dude. If he, like, I like, what do I have to do to get out of here? Because he's 
He's it. Like, he's got it. P, it's your 13th season in the NBA. PG-13, Podcast P. 13 years you've been in the NBA now. And we touched on it a little bit, but just how much the game has changed. And there's been a huge scoring uh, implosion. And 10 years ago, there was only, I think there was only 10 or 11 guys that were averaging more than 20 points a game. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you look at right now what what guys are doing scoring wise, there's around 40 to it's like 40. There's 40 guys in the league right now mm-hmm. averaging over 20 points a game. Is that a, is that just because guys are getting more skilled? Is it now the three point line? It's a completely different game now. But what would you attribute that to? Yeah, it's a different game. It was it's a different game early on when I, my first couple years in the league. Like you might get 60, 70 possessions offensively. You know what I mean? Like, and, and and the offense was ran through, like, your best player. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Obviously. And within that, like, it was it was continuity within the offense. So, like, each possession was, like, a little longer. You had two bigs out there. So, the game wasn't fast. It was a half-court set game. So, it just wasn't a lot of baskets to be gotten, to be honest. Whereas now, like, there's maybe six, seven guys on the team that's shooting – five, six threes. Whereas back then it was three guys maybe get to shoot five or more threes. Like you just, it, it wasn't that many shots. And then now you're getting 80, 90 possessions opposed to like 60, 70 possessions, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, I think the rule changes, at least for me, like, like hand checking and stuff. Like yeah. when we, when we grew up, you could put a hand on the guy and yeah. kind of guide him. And yeah. I, that's, that's how a foul I, now. That's, that's, that's how I was able now. to play defense. And with that, like guys have, have gotten smart to be able to draw fouls, James get to Harden. the free throw line. I mean, that, that's another stat. I'm pretty sure it's like yeah. the free I mean, throw attempts, like is at an all time high. Like, yeah, it's killing a game a little bit. I miss like being able to, to be like, now we can't be defenders. You know what I mean? You can't defend as well as as we used to. You can get in the ball and pick mm-hmm. and rolls. Like you can be aggressive. You can be physical. Can't do none of that. You can't anymore. do none of that now. The offensive player has the advantage now. Calling calls don't even make sense no more. Like I don't like sometimes when you watch basketball, it's like you know they they got a that Bron that that you know Tatum they got terrible bro. He Tatum. overreacted though. I'm sorry. You think I, so? Challenge now, bro. What? It yes. was a that was a build up situation. We about when LeBron it, doesn't, got fouled? it doesn't matter. Yeah. I, I, that was, that I don't think I don't think I don't it was think, a foul. I'm not saying it I don't think it was. I don't like, think I don't think he went overboard. I think what he was doing was raising and drawing attention to let them know, like y'all need to keep an eye because on because it was schools. like if you I was watching the build up to it because <laughs> just getting hacked. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was because the game like couple games before that they played Dallas, mm-hmm. same situation. Game on the line. He goes to the basket. Yep, he gets fouled get by fouled. Christian yep. Wood. No call. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I watched the games and I watched the build up to it, and it was just and then a couple games after that. Yeah, they played Philly. Russ. Gets yeah, fouled that, by I remember Joel that Embiid. Yeah. That was uh, that was bad. That was and bad. so I think it was just a build up into I where like everything he that did. was like the most obvious one where like really you're not gonna call that one. And then did you see when Blake Griffin showed the the ref something on a on a on a board, but Patrick Beverly showed him the the, the, the camera. camera. Pat and is they gave a him fool, a tech. bro. I love Pat for that. You gotta get it's Pat like, come on, that's, that's crazy. You gotta get a tech right for that. There. You gotta get a tech for that. You got to, but still, I love. I'm it. teeing him up it was too. Bro, I get out of my get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> if you don't get back to the bench. Somebody with that gotta camera. tell these refs though. <laughs> nah, Somebody gotta tell these refs yeah. because they they gonna end up at the end of the day get y'all hurt. Yeah. For no reason. Yeah. Because of a call because it's gonna be somebody who's gonna take it so serious. Like they go either do something to the ref or to somebody that they keep letting get away with fouling them, yeah. and, it, and it's gonna be somebody. That's, that's, that's just, where really that's where the 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 real like where guys getting heated amongst each other. That's where it really starts. These refs, it's the because refs, all right, man. you're not gonna call that. All right, I'm gonna make you call it. Like yep. I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him. Like I'm gonna make you call something. Like you know who what you, I mean? Like who is it that you hate when he play defense on you? Like real? Like who you who you hate? Who I hate when they play defense because <clears throat> he's just fouling you and getting on your nerves. All Pat. Oh, Pat. Oh, Pat. Okay. Yeah. Like he's fouling you the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> and it like you're not going to you're not going to like you want Pat on the floor. They like you want to see Pat on the floor. Like so you're not going to call some of these fouls on Pat. But Pat. Pat is the worst. Okay. Pat will hack the shit out of you. <laughs> Pat's the best though because he plays hard, man. He play, I, I, like, love I love watching guys that I play love, hard. It's I just, love playing against Pat and I love playing with Pat. So, which, so it's best to have him on your team. 
It's best to have him on your team. <laughs> oh, your team, not on your 100%. team. One hundred percent. What he brings, like, is is like the shit he brings is it don't even cover on a on a stat sheet. He just that. brings a winning spirit mm-hmm. that like he's on the floor he like he wants to win. Yeah. Shout out to Patrick Beverly. Shout yeah. out Pat Bev in Chicago, man. Pat. Back home. Jackie, have you uh I know there's been a lot of debates lately just on the whole load management thing and guys taking, you know, uh time off. Pat actually commented on Anthony Edwards' comment like, "Man, uh, you know, he's 21 years old saying, "Yeah, hey, man, I think guys need to get out there and play." And Pat's like, uh, "Let's see how you feel in another 10 years, yeah. young fella." But yeah. just load management and entertainment, you know, w- I, what's your thoughts? I just think that some of the players there's money that they get in endorsements and these kids is buying your stuff, play Play. So you hearing on the side of, of play? I'm hearing play because it's like some people you got you know it, this world is so short these days you don't know who you're gonna be able to see play. That's a or, fact. Or That's not. a fact. So if you got an opportunity once, it, it's people that sickened with illness and you just want to see your player and that was the only day that your parents took you out the house to go see and they not playing That's because a fact. of whatever reason That's and a they fact. not even hurt but they playing the next game that you can't go to. So I just look at it as it's a job. You know, every season you got 82 games. This is not something that you don't know about. That's they don't say fact. you got 83 next next game or 84. Every season you have 82. So we just was talking about the king, LeBron. He been playing and haven't been injured all this time. Now he's older, of course. We're not seeing him play as many games. But I've seen LeBron damn near every game he done played in his life. Yeah, that's a fact. Since high school. And I think the footnote to all of this is – like this is the most injuries I think we've had, yeah, ever. Mm-hmm. And it comes from like teams not practicing. Like mm. you don't practice anymore, and I think it's what your body is exposed to now. Like you'll go from a high day of of which is a game, high intensity, ton of load on your body, and then the next day it's like down here. Mm. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. And then it's another tick up. Like you might play forty high load on your body and then a day off and then another like it's just it's back an to the imbalance. All-star game, it's an, back into the competing for it's just an imbalance in your body and you got to train whatever back then, you had back then you practice hard like and guys weren't getting hurt i think your body builds like a callus mm. and you don't get hurt like you you your body builds this callus it builds this like this strength within your body like you're doing something every day so your body is just adjusted to it and you and, and the injuries were low. The injuries were down. And then I, I think I think now that we don't practice, like you get into a game and your body's exposed to like new, you know what I mean? Yeah. New low, new yeah. pressure. Yeah. I think it's easy for fans to to watch and be like, Oh, you guys gotta go play. But if you were actually playing eighty two games yeah. if, and this if is your fans knew year, like if fans knew what our body feels like we we'll shut up. They'll be like, All right, yeah, I might need to, I gotta I get might up need to early take the day the off too. You got to lift weight some of y'all. And like you said, I don't know about the practice, but y'all eventually have to practice, get to know all these new teammates. Yeah. <clears throat> got to go to meetings about what y'all, who team y'all about to play. That mm-hmm. can be tired because you want to rest mm-hmm. and stuff. And then you got to go you play. Might, and you might have to do that on a back-to-back. Oh, that's why. You <laughs> might got to do it. <laughs> so let, like, let, me, let, like, let me put this in perspective, yeah, I right? I feel for you because then you're a star too and you want to keep your name and be awesome. Yeah, and, and it's an expectation them. that, I need – it's an expectation, especially with fantasy basketball. Like, it's an expectation that I need Jackie Long to put up 30, 10 rebounds, 7 assists on a back-to-back on a Friday. He didn't play five games already. I get that for him. Yeah. Get that? I, can do that. I can do that for him. I will say Paul is incredible at functioning without sleep. That's We've been on a few trips, and I don't know how he does it – whether we're out having a good night, whether we're having a chill night, the dude can just wake up and just continue just to like. And that is meanwhile, a perk. I'll be over there like, I ain't never oh my seen gosh. you sleep. That is a perk I have. That is a it's perk a skill. I no, I it's be, incredible. I can go from oh, like, man. I can go from like annoyed and <sighs> like right all the way up into it. And I'm like, all right, let's go. Oh, I could do this. Come on. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, that is a perk that I, I've been I've been blessed to have. I don't know if it's a blessing Ow, or you play basketball. Everybody got a rest. You do. You just wired. You just how you Are that's you what you wire for. Look at him. <laughs> Come on. Can I get hey, some? Hey, let's get it. Can I get yeah, some? Fix your mic. Hey, fix your mic. I got a fixie. Okay. <laughs> uh, come on. So 
<laughs> we got to talk about the new look Clippers. The media has been going crazy. From what you know of Russ, like, w- why do some people paint that picture on on these guys that, you know, I don't know what they, they said some pretty nasty things. I know his wife even chimed in on it, which good for her. Right. Um, but like. You got to protect, protect yourself. You got to yeah. protect yourself, protect your family. I think it's just because of like, it's what the media sees. Like it's what they see. And then that's okay. I can paint the picture of what I want him to be because of what I, what I think he is like of what, you know, he might've done something like, and, and don't get me wrong, Russ is like, he's he's very straightforward. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, no beat around the bush. Like, uh, I'm not twinkling my toes. Like, you're going to know how I feel, and I'm, and I'm going to show you who I am. You know what I mean? Like, that's just how Russ is coming. And so I think that just draws people. It, it scares the media to where it's like, oh, I have something to attack him on. You know what I mean? And he's so confident, like, so if he doesn't perform, like, I can, I can say, ha ha, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's, it is, it, it, and it's, it's fucked up being on the other side. That's why I've always been like pro Russ and, and, and really showing the support when everybody is like trying to, you know, bad mouth him is because I, I've been around him. Like, mm-hmm. I know the person, you know what I mean? Good dude. And who he is is not what they're painting him right. to be. One of the best teammates, one of the best human beings. Like, one of the best just friends, you know what I mean? Like, I remember in Oklahoma, every day, like, he was the first. Like, I'll sometimes try to beat Russ to the gym. Like, <laughs> wow. and I'll see his car parked. It'd be the only car, too, parked in, in our, in our uh, like, players' parking lot. First car there, Russ. And he's there. Energy. Like, energy. And the craziest thing, what I told uh, the team was, like, one thing about Russ that he had a special relationship with everybody on the team. Like he would have a conversation with Steve O about New Zealand stuff, like it's awesome uh, rugby. Like, and then he'll have a conversation with me. He'll have a, about fishing, or then he'll have a conversation with Jeremy Grant on like anime. <laughs> it, like he just like he had a connection with everybody on the team where. You go, you get on the floor, it was chemistry. Right. Like this dude really, like he really know me. Like he really rocking with me. And so it was just like, oh, I'm, I'm a, like, hell yeah, I'm, I want to play for him. Like, you know what I mean? Like I'm bought in. I'm glad and I thought that. that was like really special. I've never seen that where somebody had a special, like, because usually the star players, they're not assholes, but like they got a special relationship with maybe three, four guys. And then the rest is just like, oh yeah, that's my teammate. <laughs> but Russ was like, you know, that's yeah, that's my boy. That's my boy. Like everybody was his no, boy. Everybody. That's good. That make him. And it was dope. It was the craziest thing I witnessed. And like you just you just talk about like leadership like that. Like then he get to teach the youngsters. Yeah. Yeah. Any yeah. any teachers. Yeah. Any teachers. Yeah. But talk about leadership. That uh, mm-hmm. Russ is a leader, man. Yeah. What was uh, Kawhi's thoughts on it? Did you have any conversations with him? And did he put any input on on? We both we both loved it. We both loved it. Like and we we thought we needed a point guard, especially we got. We 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 traded Reggie. We we traded John. You know the, our two point Jackson. guards. So we like, man, we really need a yeah. point. Yeah, I'm playing point out there, and I'm. I thought I could do it, bro. It was, <laughs> I like you playing point, though, P. It's a lot. Care of that it's ball a lot, ball. especially when you got Drew Holiday picking you up, and you got to create from. It, it was. You want to run down that sideline and? Oh, okay. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I, I need to be. I'm a deer. I need to run like. Too yeah, much work. Yeah, I need to be a stallion, the black stallion. <laughs> <laughs> there there, we, go. there we go. I like that. I wrestle. You ain't got to worry about running. And yeah. he's going to do all the running. So before we wrap up episode one, we want to have this segment where we get questions asked from uh, NBA creators. So we have a question from my guy, LeJethro Jenkins. And let's see what that question is. What's up, y'all? I'm sure you saw that video of Jalen Rose talking about he's paying $100 for a haircut. And that's how much everybody should pay. I'm going to keep it a stack with you. Ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way. How y'all feeling about it? Y'all got it different. You know what I'm saying? Y'all pay $100 for a haircut. Well, I mean, I think I'm just going to start off. I probably uh, have a, a free cut. That costs nothing. Yeah, this is free 99, my friend. And, yeah. and, and when I decided to go I bald, it do. was uh, the best decision I ever made. I get to, you know, I get a fresh yeah. fresh cut anytime but was I want. But was it because you weren't 
you weren't given a hundred dollar cuts uh, i mean shout out jc the barber you know he was my barber you okay. know you know i used to have the okay jackie i used to have the uh you know the taper had a couple lines you know i was doing a lot i was doing a lot so i do miss the cut but you know i think a hundred dollars swaggy is, d is, that was is, swaggy uh, d i think a hundred dollars for that no, 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 no. I'm just saying oh, back to. in the day, I, I think that a good he haircut, used like that's that's good value, you know, depending on who it is. Like, the towel. I think so. Ooh, I think so. Bro. I think so. I think a hundred, like you should give your barber a hundred dollars. Like that's a lot on a barber to be on his feet. A cut is <laughs> to be on his feet. an hour, Thank hour you. and a half. Pete, Can I start you, cutting you? You pay two days a season. I, play, I, I pay my barber. I pay my barber well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I, $200. I get my barber $200. Okay. Okay. Jackie. I'm about to, listen, so the least you can do is a hundred dollars. Whole set of clippers at the house. People, what you need is just a little taper. Or learn yourself. Shit. I'm about to learn. What about the? What shit. were you paying for the braids? Because I remember when you can't. I was braids like, was who like, is this guy? Yeah, braids was like three, four hundred dollars. Oh, they got him. They got him. <laughs> they got him. They, they, they that was called because you pee. That was called how yeah, you got playoff pee. Well, it's because my shit was. Pee. It's because my shit was real. Yes, sir. Ooh. Boy, listen. <laughs> <laughs> you know you cut yours off. My shit was real. Just that one real. He's starting to miss it in the middle. But uh, what I pay my no, I, my hair ain't missing. He's starting to fall out. <laughs> Look, and he's young. I would pay my 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 barber a hundred. Depends on the drive where he coming. If he's coming to me, and I know he's really good, I it's like I'm paying for the haircut and the gas. So and I the pay gas. him hundred dollars. Yeah. What about like the dye, like for the grades and stuff? I don't dye mine. Oh, I'm okay. a real man. You gonna just stay? You gonna gray it out? No, I don't gray nothing out unless I'm on set and they tell me that, that they you need to do black it, it out. I don't want to black it out. Yeah. This is me. It shows my wisdom. I like that. You know I don't. I, I think I'm gonna have the same approach. Whenever I start going gray, just let it go gray. Let it go gray. P, what's the stuff called again? Remember uh, our buddy Beijing. Y, uh, YT get the Beijing. You got the, the Beijing, Beijing special. Yeah, that's that's a wild one. Yeah, the never Beijing seeing special. Forty one, and that's all I got. Look at that. Forever forty one. No gray hair. No gray hair. It's only hair and hair. That's it. You That's see Drake's it. new braids? Shout out Drake. Shout out Drake. I'm not looking at he no got the braids. owl. To, like, he got the owl on the back. It's oh, crazy. It's it's, it's, it's fire. If I could do that, I could do it. <laughs> like, what? What's wrong with that? that? He's the biggest he's Drake got fan. Good braids. You can't. You can't. No, don't talk about no, eh. Bro, this guy posted it. He's got an owl and on the back bald. of his head. You got a and he's yeah, bald. Bro, I I, I like. So it's, I, it's, it hits different. My braids. Yeah, bro. But Drake. I tell you. Don't want to get emotional on the podcast, but it's you know bald men matter. It just was cool. It was great. Yeah. So what I'm we a huge what we Drake fan. what we what we what we what we come to, to the the a hundred dollars a hundred dollars is, is okay. I think I think a hundred dollars okay. is more than okay. But Thanks in for, your situation, I don't think they need to get the three. They that's that was just when three. I was braiding. No, you said how much you say for the haircut? Two for the 200, haircut. Two hundred. I give my barber two hundred dollars. Okay, you can shout out Kenny Blends. I give I give my barber two hundred dollars okay because of travel and, that, travel and the times that he come is late at you night just gave sometimes him 100 for gas i get it 100 for I gas 50 for gas you gave him 100 for yeah gas. i get it i get it he might got a truck he might got a truck he, diesel. you know what i mean you know? he might be coming and because <laughs> he, he coming he live in palmdale so he coming from palmdale that's 250 <laughs> give him 250 nah don't do it. come on give him 50 next time come on he gonna watch this and be like hey you a little <laughs> short you a little short that's a wrap on episode one of podcast p with your boy paul george Shout out my guys, Dallas and Jackie, for co-hosting with me. And you, the audience, for rocking with us. What y'all think of that? Y'all, y'all think that was a good good first episode? We, have, we did it. We talked about what we wanted to talk about. We did that. We, we did, did that. that. We Come did on. that. We did that. We Come did on. that. We did Come that. On. We did that. Oh, that's that. a good opener. We that's a good that. opener. Just y'all to stay tuning in. Keep rocking Every with us. Week. It gets better. We got y'all because we love y'all. We just want to give y'all the news. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Tell them, P. Podcast P, baby. Podcast P. New episodes are going to be dropping every Monday throughout the rest of the NBA season. Make sure you follow us on YouTube. Hit those post notifications so you stay up to date with every episode. And make sure you follow us on the show on Instagram at Podcast P Show. Jackie, any last words? Always do what you do best. And that stay blessed. We done did it. Podcast P, y'all. Yeah, I love it. I love it. That's all I can say, man. Good shit. That's it. And that's a wrap. (laughs) 